putting in more rain and the weather keeps continually getting more dreary which I wonder why but um, it isn't bad it hasn't started raining yet so, so we're good we're good for at least another couple of hours I'd say the skies are still blue and the clouds are are still white so anyways um I'm gonna start talking my normal voice now um I wanted to talk about Scorpios yes I do I want to talk about them yep. um I am one and I want to say something about them oh wow I want to say a lot actually if you ever are around a Scorpio and you sense that they're feeling this like like this intense like kind of like I want to get something out you know what I mean well a lot of Scorpios are like that and um, it's really that they feel all this surging kind of like energy that just wants to unleash itself and do something great they often walk around with kind of like a an aggressive I would say kind of an aggressive demeanor where they're just so determined you know to find that next you know surge of creativity that next you know push that they that they need so they're always like that that's why a lot of Scorpios are much more um, uh, they're much more the women are very kind of masculine in the way they um, sometimes the way they think and the way they talk but they just have an instinctual kind of male oriented um, Uh, male-oriented kind of personality in a way. Um, they understand men, they understand males in general, and how they think. They're very intuitive, they're very psychic, they're very much feministic in the way that they think. So, also, they know when they're not being their authentic self. They know when they're straying away from who they really should be. I have been doing that for, wow, most of my life actually. But I have taken care of myself in a way and done things in a way that I felt I would be comfortable with not necessarily extreme in in change but very constant and kind of taking the world like like um, seriously but then not seriously at the same time so I kind of have a how do I say this? I kind of have just like a side of me that wants to be my authentic self and the side of me that's afraid of, you know, how powerful that is going to turn out and kind of afraid of, of the vanity of staying, um, you know, the same is just something that most Scorpios uh, they get caught up in and they don't want to lose that but the intensity of their of their intuitive minds and the intensity of their their desire is 
at some point going to trump the very vain approach, very linear approach to going through life. But at some point it will eventually be so intense that, you know, there's not really much that you can do and you just go for it. That's kind of what how they are. They take things to a limit and when that limit has been reached, they, you know, they do something extreme, you know what I mean? To break out of the ways that they've been living in for so long. You know what I mean? So, for example, I'm just gonna start putting stuff out there. A Scorpio woman would know that she has something deep inside her and not let it out until years later when she finally finds that, when she finally decides that doing all the things that everybody told her to and living life so mediocre, uh, mediocre, uh, I can't say that word, um, in such a mediocre fashion has gotten her nowhere and she was fine with it for a while but suddenly the chains break loose and there's no stopping her. So, you know, they're very aggressive. Um, actually a lot of Scorpios are lesbian because they are, there's a lot of feminist in, in Scorpios, so they turn lesbian, um, or if they aren't, they under, when they are with men whom they are attracted to, or, or for whatever reason they're with them, they always zero in on who they are, and they get behind the, the things that they, s the things that aren't clear to the eye um, about that person, so they can even sense the future of some people um, if given the right mental state. Um, for example, if I was to smoke a cigar right now, saying that I wouldn't mind if my lungs were to be a little bit worse than an for a while and, you know, destroying my health for a little while, saying if I was to do that, we all know what tobacco products do to your brain and your body, but that surge of, I think it's serotonin, and it hits your brain, it gives you tons of imaginative thoughts. So I would be able to use that and understand another person whom I know, maybe not so well, but that would come into me through my mental field and I can manipulate, Scorpios usually manipulate that to their own advantage if they're very, very narcissistic very, or if they're very egotistical they understand what's going on, they take that, and then they do something with it that's gonna, they're all about themselves, mostly. So, you know, whatever they see that's occurring with somebody else, they think, I'm gonna keep doing this, so this will happen to them. They're very controlled, they're extremely powerful people. But, if they're not at a state where they're powerful, they really have no, they can't do anything, you know, but look pretty and, and, uh, stay peaceful, you know, that's really about all the things that they can do at that point, but it's a healthy way of living, and you're not going to die of cancer, AIDS, you know, lung cancer, you know, diabetes, whatever the fuck you want, you want to, um, 
you want to measure up on uh, safety oriented goals that they keep so dear to themselves. But they're very powerful people. Um, some famous people that are Scorpios, that are women, I'm only going to name the women, Julia Roberts, pretty obvious, um, Hillary Clinton, pretty obvious, Jodie Foster, extremely obvious, um, Demi Moore, obvious, Winona Ryder, yeah, that's obvious, <laughs> Georgia O'Keefe, uh, I'd say that's pretty obvious. Um, let's see. Bajork, the singer. Wow, couldn't get more obvious. Um, Maggie Gyllenhaal, obvious. And that's about all I can say right now. Anyways, also, um, uh, what's that? On The View. Uh, what's that girl's name? Anyways, the black lady on The View. So, all those women that I just named are all have feministic traits. They're all powerful people. They're all masculine in a lot of ways. Um, some of them are very artistic. Georgia O'Keeffe, she was also masculine, you know. Um, Julia Roberts, masculine. A powerful lady. <sighs> Hillary Clinton, another uh, masculine. I mean, she was gonna, she's going to go for president. Can't. I mean, come on. <laughs> what kind of Barbie doll Princess Leia is going to go for president? Obviously, she is a very powerful lady. Um, uh, Jodie Foster. Yep, another one. It's pretty obvious. I don't need to even talk about her. Demi Moore, a beautiful, gorgeous uh, actress. Couldn't be more talented. Um, Winona Ryder, she's in extreme form. She, uh, she broke out of her chains easily <laughs> by stealing, you know, whatever she stole from that, um, designer store, so that's something Scorpios do, they do stuff like that. Um, uh, she's a very beautiful Scorpio, kind of more, she is not very masculine, so, um, but yeah, she has the personality of one. So, uh, yeah, so Bjork, if you've ever listened to her music, I mean, wow. <laughs> she is... She pretty much... Um, her work is so uplifting and spiritual. I listened to it about a year ago and I was just like blown away because I could... I just understood her so well, you know? Um, so... And she had a lot of feministic qualities concerned with her music, and so a lot of things that she brought to um, a lot of what do you call it? She's just a, I don't sorry I can't I I haven't watched her videos in a long time, but when I did, I definitely understood them. Maggie Gyllenhaal, um, yeah, she's an amazing actress and. Um, obviously she's a little bit, um, of a rebellious woman as well as all the rest that I just named. So, anyways, uh, that's about all I have to say right now. I'll get into more later with other signs. I don't know a lot of others that I know as well as myself, so that's pretty much all I could say right now. But I might make another video today if I can come up with something new that's even more um, that has a greater meaning than what I, all of what I just said, it was pretty basic. Uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful day today, and I'll be back. Bye.